If I could share any wisdom from my 43 years of marriage with Janine, it's this, compromise. Max, you may be right at times, and Kaylee may not think your thoughts are right. Kaylee, you may be right at times, and Max may not think your thoughts are right. There's just one word, and it's compromise. Always be compromising, and think of your spouse as a gift from God, because that's what they are. I would like to formally welcome you all to the wedding ceremony of Kaylee Elizabeth Walsh and Maxwell Scott LeCarrie. A love story nearly 10 years in the making. Kaylee met Max in her senior year at Carmel High School, and he was from Wisconsin. When Janine and I met Max, we immediately liked Max as he was very polite and witty. He also got on the right side of us as he said he was a Bears fan. And growing up in the land of the Packers, that must not have been easy. Sure was. Sure was. Anybody here believe in love at first sight? One day, Lisa and I were standing in the kitchen. We look out the window, and there's this white van driving slowly down the road in front of my house. Illinois license plates, I'm about ready to get my gun, pulls in the driveway. In comes the door, in the back door. Hi, I'm Kaylee! I look at Lisa, and she says, I love her already. Max, while writing this letter, it was hard for me to know where to begin. So logically, I went back to the beginning and I pulled my journal out from 10 years ago, curious to see what 17-year-old Kaylee had to say. I wrote, I have a boyfriend. His name is Maxwell Scott LaCarrie. He is a ginger and very adorable, and he asked me out last night. Despite being so young, my 17-year-old self, I really knew what she was talking about. Because here we stand a decade later, and you're still all those things and so much more. I have so much more to go. <laughs> when I think back on all the chapters of our life, there's one story that stands out in my mind, which illustrates just how special you are. The day I left for basic training was the most emotional day I've ever had. You were away at school, your freshman year of college, your first time being out on your own, and there you were, writing me letters every single day, telling me you love me and that you're so proud of me. When you have no form of communication with the outside world, Receiving a letter is comforting as getting a hug when you need it the most. The feeling I had that first day, holding those five letters from you, is exactly how I feel today, holding this letter to you. My beautiful wife, I feel happy, I feel lucky, and I feel loved. Thank you for choosing me back then and every day since. I'm so proud I'll get to call you my wife. Watching you walk up that aisle was the most elegant walk from the most beautiful person in my life. We've been on a journey together, nine and a half years, and that adventure has led us right to this perfect place. Marriage is a gift. The celebration of the union of life with life and heart with heart in the spirit of a promise made by two committed souls that find themselves dedicated to the love they feel for one another. A wedding is a very serious and sacred opportunity where all can witness the joining of this man and this woman to each other in the promise of eternal partnership. Kaylee and Maxwell, I ask you to remember that love, which is rooted in faith, trust, and acceptance, will be the foundation of an abiding and deepening relationship. If you are able to keep the vows you take here today, then the home you establish will be a place in which you both will find the direction of your growth, your freedom, and your responsibility. Kaylee and Max make an incredible team. 
They problem solve and compromise with ease, and they laugh with each other even under stress. They are the perfect balance of unity and independence. Kaylee and Max, I know I speak for everyone here today when I tell you both how undeniably special you are. Together, you are like a human version of the sun, your light obvious to the world around you. In each other, you have found your soulmate and your teammate, equal partners on this voyage. Always remember the magnitude of the love that we all have for you. She was a little girl, she dreamt about Prince Charming galloping into her life on his white horse. Or rather, Ken riding in on his Barbie convertible car. You see, like many other little girls, Kaylee and I used to play Barbies in her parents' basement. We always hoped to find our own Kens one day. And guess what? Kaylee, you found your Ken. Though Ken was blonde and I don't remember any redheaded Barbies growing up. You may not know this or you may have heard, but Kaylee and Max first met online in a Facebook group before college. So on the night they hatched a plan to meet in real life for the first time, Kaylee lied to her parents and told them she was going to meet her future roommate. Little did they know, she was driving all the way to some random town in Wisconsin to meet Max. To my relief, she actually went to the LeCarries and met the whole entire family. And as they say, the rest is history. In all seriousness, as crazy as their meetup story may seem, they were just two crazy, eager teenagers embarking on a new life's journey. Max, thank you for loving Kaylee the way she deserves to be loved. There was no doubt in my mind since you started dating that you were going to end up in this very same spot one day. There is no doubt in my mind that these two are going to have the greatest marriage ever. Obviously, there will be ups and downs, but these two right here can manage anything life throws at them. They can balance each other out so well. I honestly believe that they will conquer anything that they set their minds to. Happy wife, happy life, am I right? To quote our favorite artist, where your soul goes, you'll find me. Wherever you go, I am with you. There could never be enough of words to describe all the growing up we've done together, or the ways in which you've changed my life. So I will simply tell you I love you. And today marks day one of our lifetime, and I could not be more grateful. I promise I'll always care for you. Be there for you. Listen when you need to let it out. I'll always be in your corner. Be your biggest cheerleader, no matter what. I promise to only use one saying per day. And here's my saying for today. <laughs> okay. Do the job, big or small, do it right, or do it again. <laughs> and you know what? I think we're doing it right today. I will do everything in my power to preserve and protect the family that we're starting today. And I will continue to choose you forever. I love you, Caleb. Max, you may now kiss your bride.